It was high drama this afternoon at the New Amsterdam market after the woman was removed. It is not known if the woman is a Berbician, but shortly after her removal, vendors were seen closing and customers hurrying out of the market as the news spread. The municipality then closed the market and asked all vendors to exit. The woman is said to have walked through the vegetable section of the market. She went to the whole market. She passed it and I asked her, she said, you shopping something? She said, I already have, I don't need anything. But she just stand up. She walk and she go away and she just said nothing more and then she got by the yard. So she stand up down there. A crew from the public health department arrived shortly after and fumigated the vending facility. Director of Renal Health Services Javon Stevens said the rapid response team was called in because the department received information stating that a person who may have COVID-19 symptoms was seen in New Amsterdam and was seen entering the market. We followed protocol and we send we send the team out to ensure they find that person. Um, my information is the person was found and the person has been taken into quarantine. We will monitor the person's symptoms. We will do a subsequent test when necessary so that we could be able to, in a matter of days or hours, inform members of or residents of East Burbis County, New Amsterdam specifically, on the update of this particular patient. Stevens said that a call was made to the hotline yesterday stating that a person might be in Burbis. And uh, we received a picture this morning to see the person was seen at uh, the New Amsterdam market. We were able to go there and cut the patient. The, the patient presented at the time no resistance to our team, so they are cooperating with what needs to be done at the moment. Um, I want to ask the general public to uh, maintain safety, um, look at the gazetted orders and try your best to operate within the confines of the now provided laws so that East Burby's current team can remain safe. While commending the person who made the call, Stevens is also encouraging others to do the same if the need arises. Um, for precautions, we went, we sent our, our environmental health team out there to ensure that the market area is properly fumigated. Uh, and this is just basically, basically for precautions. But at the moment, we do not know if this person is positive or not. For the evening news, Andrew Carmichael.